Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about Giga Metals. So something interesting came up uh, and I had to make a video about it. So Tesla, so this is a rumor, this is not official, and this came out today on September 14, 2020. Uh, I don't know, maybe it came out somewhere around today, but... Uh, Anyways, uh, Tesla is, that's the rumor anyways, Tesla is in talks with Giga Meadows, uh, the world's most valuable car company by market cap, which is not a false statement, are reportedly discussing the development of a large mine. So yeah, this is a pretty big deal. A Canadian firm Giga Meadows and American company Tesla the world most valuable car company by market cap are reportedly discussing the development of a large mine. The move would give the electric car maker access to low carbon nickel for its batteries, reported citing three anonymous sources who are familiar with the matter. Nickel is a key ingredient in the batteries that are used for power electric vehicles. That is a false statement. It's only for... Uh, nickel is only a key ingredient in Tesla's batteries. Other people's batteries might not use as much nickel as Tesla batteries do. But uh, I haven't done too much research on that, so don't. If I'm wrong on that, I'm sorry. But Tesla really needs a uh, nickel, and yeah, so you know, and this is good. But uh, Giga Meadows president. Martin something declined to comment about any talks with Tesla. Of course, they have to decline. The uh, this so it's probably somebody that caught wind of this and bought the stock and pumped the stock, and now the stock is up massively. So it's good. I don't know. I don't know how to any say. It. Like the market cap's only a ninety one point nine five million dollars. Which is not very much. I don't know how big the nickel operations are, like how much the nickel they have, but um, this is really good news for the entire industry. And if Tesla actually partners up with any of these Canadian companies for uh, uh, for nickel, I think it would affect all nickel companies positively, like FPX Nickel and Talon Metals. Uh, got popped today. Uh, I don't know why it popped today, but they also producing nickel. And then there's also uh, I forgot about this one Canadian Canadian nickel company. They, these these guys are the ones that wanted to partner up with um, with Tesla, but they didn't. They just closed a 6.5 million bot deal private placement units. Uh, how much did they? So 4.3 million shares at a price of $1.50 for total gross proceed of $6.5 million. So yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good for a Canadian nickel company. But uh, I think these guys wanted to partner up with Tesla and the fact that they couldn't, you know, and Giga got the, the deal instead, it sucks, but that's the reality. But you know what? I honestly believe that if Giga or any of these, any of these uh, nickel companies get a contract with uh, Tesla, all the nickel stocks will pop. It's like when Canopy got a deal with Constellation Brand, what happened to all the MJ stocks? They all popped to the upside. So if this rumor was true, it doesn't matter what you're in. All nickel stocks will pop to the upside in a big, big way, and that would be nice if you're a shareholder. I'm hope I'm hoping Neo Lithium also benefits too. I mean, they just got a big deal today with uh, a company that is partnered up with Tesla, and these guys produce uh, uh, lithium, and their market cap is really cheap right now too. So, I'm hoping Tesla after hours is popping. I, like I said, I think Tesla stock will hit back to its 52 week high of almost 500 US dollars by the time, uh, by the time, uh, sorry, by the time they do their merger, not the merger, by the time the battery day comes by, I think Tesla stock will be at its 52 week high. So by the end of this week, 
Tesla stock will be at 52 week high because battery days on Sunday and then Monday the market opens and we will probably be above the 52 week high. In my opinion only, I don't know if this will happen for sure but that's just my opinion. The SPY right now is uh, down 6 cents. Uh, DraftKings is uh, down 2 cents. AMD after hours is up 13 cents. Uh, Sparring Energy, I'm, just, I'm shocked at this company. Like, I didn't think, you know, I didn't think this company would rally uh, so much uh, because I just, like, they don't have their own fa factory. They're relying on a third party to make their cars. Uh, they do have a lot of cash in the on the balance sheet. Their car is nice, but besides having a nice car, they're relying on a third party to make their car, and their cars won't get produced until 2023 or 2024. So that's a long time to wait for a car. And Diamond Peak Holdings, you know, I mean, Diamond Peak deserves where it is right now, but I'm just saying, like, it just makes no sense in my mind. Uh, solo management needs to do a better PR job, in my opinion. And Neo could be uh, could be a buying opportunity. Diamond Peak Holdings, uh, <laughs> I think, should go up higher. A rocket company is uh, up eleven cents after hours. Not too much to say about that. Um, I'm kind of a bull on rocket company. Because it, they just make so much money, but at the end of the day, I don't really move the markets. It's big money. So big money wants to keep pumping the rocket company. They will. We'll see what happens. Uh, NVIDIA Corporation is um, uh, up $3.61. Not too much to say about that. Uh, high Tide today is at $0.18. Cents. GameStop is, you know, game pumped by rich people I, I seriously think that like why would a retail like just if a retail investor use some logic you know yeah they might have like they might they have a lot of cash in the balance sheet that is a big benefit but if you use a, a logic about it GameStop their business is dying essentially I mean the console might help them go into profitability for a couple quarters but that's about it I think this their business is dying, but at the end of the day, stocks are worth as much as an investor is willing to buy and sell. So even if a business is bad, it doesn't matter because stocks are worth as much as an investor is willing to put money in. And I really think big money is pushing the stock up because it got upgraded, right? Uh, GameStop rebound after analyst upgrades. So obviously big money is trying to push the stock price up. Why? I don't know. I don't understand it at the end of the day. Aurora is uh, up four cents after hours. Aurora is starting to stabilize, so earnings is coming up here very soon. We'll see what happens. Will earnings crash the stock further or pop the stock to the upside? Canopy, Canopy is neutral. Uh, not too much to say about that. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna end the video there. Micron. I wish I bought some Micron when it like plummeted all the way down to like. $42 buy some long-term call options on it. Oh man, I would have been making in the money right now if I just did that. Oh well, too late. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for future updates and uh, have a great day. Bye.